Welcome to the similarities between the Book of Mormon and the View of the Hebrews book. And here we have the title page for the View of the Hebrews book by Ethan Smith. The storyline or outline for the Book of Mormon probably came from Ethan Smith's 1823 New York novel. It was called View of the Hebrews. View of the Hebrews came out in 1823 and the Book of Mormon came out in 1830, so about a seven year difference. View of the Hebrews came out in Pulteney, Vermont, Rutland County. The Book of Mormon came out in Sharon, Vermont, Windsor County. And Windsor County is adjacent to Rutland County, as you can see on this map. Oliver Cowdery, one of the Book of Mormon witnesses and scribes, lived in Pulteney, Vermont when View of the Hebrews was published. He was also a member of Ethan Smith's congregation, who was the author of View of the Hebrews. The major plot points in View of the Hebrews are mirrored in the Book of Mormon. Both books talk about the destruction of Jerusalem. Both books talk about the scattering of Israel as well. Both of them talk about the restoration of the ten tribes. Both books talk about the Hebrews or the Jews leaving the Old World and coming to the New World or the Americas in about 600 BC. Both books talk about religion as a motivating factor in coming to the New World. Both of the books talk about the migration being a long journey and you can assume it's from the Old World across the Atlantic to the New World. Both of the books talk about seas and many waters. Both books mention that the Americas are an uninhabited land. Both mention the settlers journeying northward. Both of the books talk about encountering a valley of a great river. Both mention the Hebrews or the Jews settling the land who are the ancestors of the American Indians. Both books talk about Hebrew being the origin of the Indian language, something that we now know is not true. Both of the books talk about Egyptian hieroglyphics, something that did not exist in ancient America. Both of the books talk about lost Indian records. The View of the Hebrews talks about a set of yellow leaves or records that were buried in an Indian hill. The Book of Mormon was written, or supposed to have been written, on golden plates and also buried in a hill, which was called Camorra. Both books mention the breastplate and the Urim and Thummim. And you can see a picture of those above the golden plates here. Both books talk about prophets transmitting generational records. Both of the books talk about a man standing on a wall warning the people saying, Woe, woe to this city, to this people, while subsequently being attacked. And you can see a picture of that in the Book of Mormon above. That is Samuel the Lamanite on the wall being attacked. Okay, in view of the Hebrews, it says, Jesus, son of Ananus, stood on the wall, saying, Woe, woe to this city, this temple, and this people. And then, and then in the Book of Mormon, it says, Samuel the Lamanite stood on the wall, saying, Woe, woe to this city, or this people. Both of the books mention the man on the wall coming to preach for many days. Both of the books mention that the man on the wall was crying with a loud voice, preaching of destruction and stones being cast at him. Both of the books talk about the gospel being preached in the Americas. Both books quote whole chapters of Isaiah, the prophet from the Old Testament. Both books mention how good and bad are a necessary opposition. In the Book of Mormon it says, For it must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. Both of the books denounce pride and polygamy. They both mention sacred towers and high places. Both mention the Messiah visiting the Americas. Both talk about idolatry and human sacrifice. Both books mention the Jews dividing into two classes, civilized and barbarous. Both books talk about the civilized people thriving in art, written language, metallurgy and navigation. Both of the books talk about the government changing from a monarchy to a republic. Both books talk about civil and ecclesiastical power being united in the same person. 
in other words, a theocratic dictatorship. Both talk about long wars breaking out between the civilized and barbarous. Both of the books talk about extensive military fortifications, observations, and watchtowers. They had Indian mounds in their area. I believe this one pictured here is in Ohio. Uh, so they got the idea that they use these mounds for uh, fortifications, observations, and towers. Both talk about the barbarous people exterminating the civilized. And here is another burial mound uh, from the Native American Indians. I believe this one is in Georgia. Both books discuss the United States, which had not been formed yet. In June 1922, LDS leader B.H. Roberts stated the following, Did Ethan Smith's view of the Hebrews furnish structural material for Joseph Smith's Book of Mormon? It has been pointed out in these pages that there are many things in the former book that might well have suggested many major things in the other. Not a few things merely, one or two or a half dozen, but many. And it is this fact of many things of similarity and the cumulative force of them that makes them so serious a menace to Joseph Smith's story of the Book of Mormon's origins. And this is out of B.H. Roberts' book, Studies of the Book of Mormon, page 240. And B.H. Roberts continues, The material in Ethan Smith's book, View of the Hebrews, is of a character and quantity to make a ground plan for the Book of Mormon. Can such numerous and startling points of resemblance and suggestive contact be merely coincidence? B.H. Roberts, Studies of the Book of Mormon, page 242. And you can find the similarities that we went over in this video in B.H. Roberts' book, Studies of the Book of Mormon, pages 240 to 242 and 324 to 344. It's a pretty interesting book. It was supposed to never have come out, but it finally did. What are the chances that an ancient record, the Book of Mormon, would have so many similarities to a 19th century novel written just seven years earlier? That will do it for this video, and I thank you for watching the similarities between the Book of Mormon and the View of the Hebrews book video.